Hello, you're watching ISTV English News. This is Kate Mary. First, look at the top stories. Government announces compensation of rupees five lakh each to the families of the two deceased and financial help for treatment to injured persons in Ukraine violence. And now the news in detail. Chief Minister Okram Ibove today announced compensation of rupees five lakh each. to the families of the two persons who were killed and financial help for treatment to the injured persons in yesterday's violence at Ukrul Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Deputy Chief Minister Gai Khangam Health Minister Fungsathang Tonsing and Deputy Speaker Prashant Shimre visited the injured who have been admitted and are undergoing treatment at Janims at Dreams today The Chief Minister said that yesterday's incident at Ukrul was most unfortunate and hoped such incidents do not recur in future the exact reasons behind the incident will be clear after inquiry and post mortem reports and efforts are going on to retrieve the arms seized by the protesters from the police personnel he stated the government of manipur is keeping the center fully updated about the law and order situation of ukrul district The prohibitory order CRPC 144 has been imposed in Ukrul to maintain peace and harmony and the same has been imposed in almost all districts of Manipur stated the chief minister It is because of the frequent unwanted incidents of violence happening in Ukrul that police commandos and IRB have been deployed in spite of the heavy expenditure faced by the state government he stated Law in order maintain to the way other me life and property adu koi ngak ta baya dam ni na state government gi to hum to ko dinti ni adu ma thakta situation ji koi kritik tang improve to ral gi hai na gradually the quality of fund da koi kasi security deploy to ning di eba koi security deploy to ba hai ba se yam na expensive koi ba koi to ning di adu na hoji ki crpc 144 se एंटायर डिस्ट्रिक्ट से हूँ से दूम लेबी मद सिक्यूरीटी थम्बा हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर अगर सी आर पी सी हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर प्रोहिबिटेड ओर्डर थब से मैम पब्लिक इनोसें प्रजा सात्र कई कई चर्च की लीडर से मैं हेरास तौब नी इनोसें लाइफ अदलब मैम लाइफ प्रोपर्टी प्रोटेक्ट तौब तौबनी थोखे थोख्रबनी तुक फादर ग्राबेट तौदना क्लोजली मोनीटर तौरी लाइब थीद्रब इमु है दिस इज फेमिली अखो सरकार एक्स ग्रेसिया लुपा लाख मंगा मंगा पीर सी है स्टेट गवर्मेंट डिसाइड तौर अग एन जी ओ लेहरी मैं जेहोब खसा चंग स्टेट गवर्मेंट बिहारनी Four persons were injured in firing at Ukrul yesterday. Swinao Ngachaumi, age 30, son of David from Somdal; Aichar Rai Sangje, age 30, son of Jibon from Tanri Ronghan; Razam Gamhoram, age 21, son of Hobson from Kharsom, have been admitted at Jenims, where they are undergoing treatment. S K Rangam, age 27, son of S K Timothy from Kachai, has been admitted at Dreams. While Swinao Ngachaumi was undergoing treatment at Jenims, Chief Minister, Deputy Chief Minister, Health Minister, Deputy Speaker, and Parliamentary Secretary Victor K Singh paid a visit in the evening. Around 30 flower pots placed in front of the Director's Office of Reams have been removed by Professor Damianti, wife of former Director of Reams, Dr. S. Shikorjit. As per re- reports received by ISTV News. Professor Damianti came early in the morning with a tractor and took away the flower pots. Four to five flower pots have been placed in front of the Department of Anatomy, of which she is the head. This comes in the wake of the removal of Dr. Shekharjit from the post of Reams Director following the directive of the Union Health Ministry and Dr. C H Arun Kumar being given the charge of director. On the other hand, Professor Damian T, who is the chairman of the Rims Hostel Development Committee, stated that the flower pots have been taken away to be placed in the hostel and clarified that they had been kept in front of the office of the director only temporarily. Some unidentified miscreants shot the pradhan of Sombung Gram Panchayat, 
Shandam Ibumcha, 47, son of Tampajau, at the gate of his house located at Yorubung Kuno. He is now undergoing treatment at Raj Medicity. Talking to the ISTV News, wife of Ibumcha said, last night around 7.30 p.m., three unidentified men came on Activa and called out his husband for a talk. After a few minutes, sound of firing was heard. When people rushed out to see what had happened, they found her husband lying on the roadside. He bore bullet wound in his neck. She further said, even though her husband might have committed mistakes, it could have been resolved through dialogues. Using extra power thinking they are powerful is not a human behavior, she said. <laughs> President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, T.H. Chauba, has expressed happiness over the joining of three new members, including two ADC members and one former minister to BJP. The president approved their joining at the inaugural function of patriotic song competition held at BJP office Nityai Pachuthek in connection with the Martyrs Memorial Month observed by Bharatiya Janata Yuva Mocha. President of Bharatiya Janata Yuva Mocha, Oina Malesh, Professor Gangumai Kamai and sportsperson L. Ibohal attended a function. The newly joined members are ex-minister T. Gauzadao, ADC member of Saramba Council Tamenglong, Lungsu Panmai, who resigned from Indian National Congress, and ADC member of Nungba Council Tamenglong, G. Afang, former and independent candidate. O. Malay said, as part of the 18th Martyrs Memorial Month observed in the month of August, painting competition, social service, sports events and patriotic song competition were held. Thanking the new members, President of TH Tauber said, the party is strengthening day by day. On the other hand, it will not be right to forget the courage given by our martyrs. The ultimate courage used by the martyrs in fighting against the enemies is a big lesson in the history. Later, 50 participants competed in the patriotic song competition. In all 100 competitors came for the competition, but only 50 competed after the screening. A meeting was held today at Kwakta, organized by Kwakta Kuno Awang Development Youth Club, under the Manipur State Women Development Corporation. The meeting deliberated on upliftment of women folk in Kwakta areas. BSO Bishnupur A. Kameshwar has asked the widows and elderly persons to submit their account numbers in order to avail of monthly pension. Social worker Muhammad Abdul Malib encouraged the people of Kwakta to take advantage of the opportunities given by the state government. He also appealed to the women folk to stop the use of tobacco products which will lead to health problems. Due to frequent occurrence of various unwanted incidents, beneficiaries of SCGP said they are unable to take up new threats. In a press meet held at Manipur Press Club, the 2004 to 2007 beneficiaries urged the state government and the India government to waive off their loan. General Secretary of All Manipur SCGP Beneficiaries Committee, Jaki Hussain said, the loan is mainly for agriculture, poultry and fishery sectors. He further said, the unfortunate incidents are due to frequent occurrence of flood, natural calamities and economic blockades. <laughs>
Lokta Development Authority Workers and Employees Union urged the government of Manipur to upgrade LDA into a full fledged department and to pay off the pending areas at the earliest. At the meeting held at LDA office, Ningtho Kong, various resolutions were made, which include regularization of work charge staffs and upgradation to a full fledged department. Union Secretary P. Shyam Kumar said the machines which cost crore of rupees are today lying unused. He drew the attention of the concerned authority into the matter at the earliest. <laughs> And now some national and international news. Japan today agreed to work with India in inventing treatment for the sickle cell anemia after Prime Minister Narendra Modi sought help for finding remedy to the deadly disease commonly found among tribals in India. Modi, who has been keenly looking for a remedy to the disease since his days as Chief Minister of Gujarat, discussed the issue with Nobel Prize winner for medicine 2012 S. Yamanaka when he visited the Kyoto University. Prime Minister Narendra Modi received a presentation from Kyoto Mayor Daisaka Kadokawa on how the ancient tradition of Japan's cultural capital has been preserved while building it into a modern city. A day India signed a pact to develop Varanasi on the pattern of Kyoto. During the over 40 minute presentation, Mayor Kadokawa explained how Kyoto was cleaner by its citizen. Noted writer and senior BJP leader Mridula Sinha was today sworn in as Governor of Goa following the resignation of BV12. Bombay High Court Chief Justice Mohit Shah administered the oath of office to Sinha. Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar and other dignitaries were present at Raj Bhavan here on the occasion. Goa had no full-time governor following one Chu's resignation from the post after his role was questioned in VVIP chopper deal. The crucial hearing on coal scam will be held on Tuesday in the Supreme Court where the CBI is likely to inform the court about the alleged manipulation of facts by vested interest to delay the ongoing trial in the 2G scam. The council had been briefed about its stand which includes informing the apex court about certain moles in the prop agency who were providing documents to people outside. Government is likely to approve a hike in DNS allowance DA to 107% from the existing 100% benefiting around 30 lakh centers employees and its 50 lakh pensioners including dependents. The average rate of retail inflation for industrial workers from July 1, 2013 to June 30, 2014 works out to be 7.2%. Thus, the central government will hike a DNS allowance for its employees by 7%, an official said. He said the finance ministry will now put a cabinet proposal for approval of 7% DA hike from July 1st this year as the revised consumer price index industrial workers data for June was released by Labor Ministry on Saturday. At least two persons were killed and about 450 others injured overnight when police baton charged hundreds of anti-government protesters led by Imran Khan and Tahir ul Qadri who marched towards Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's residence here demanding his resignation. The clashes started after Tehreek A. Insaf, Chairman Khan and Awami Tehreek Chief Kadri yesterday ordered their hundreds of supporters to shift the protest venue in the front of the residence of Prime Minister Sharif to force him to quit. Police fired tear gas shells and rubber bullets to disperse the protesters outside Prime Minister's official residence and the adjacent parliament building. And to wrap up the headlines once again. 
Government announces compensation of rupees 5 lakh each to the families of the two deceased and financial help for treatment to injured persons in Ukrul violence. Well, that's all we have for the moment. Stay tuned and keep watching.